Hi everyone, Gav here from CSV Guesser for Airtable. I've got a really exciting video which is going to show you our latest product update. Basically, the service now supports JSON data. If you're not familiar with the app, CSV Guesser for Airtable will allow you to turn a base or a table like this into a CSV API. But now it's become something more. It now gives you a whole different type of data types in JSON, which you may want to access in bulk as well. If you create a CSV getter URL, you don't have to worry about pagination or anything else. If you want to create a full backup or access a full list of your data without using a, uh, any code, this is a service for you because basically all you have to do is paste the IDs and the URL and your API key, and then you're able to generate a URL, which will always give you the latest data. So like I say, the service turns a table like this into a CSV API, but now you'll see there's a lot more we can do with that URL. So the default type is always going to be CSV, and we now see a little bit of a sample of the data that's going to give us. Uh, so here we have the data in the table there, uh, but now what do we want to see as JSON? Well, you can just access this drop-down menu, clicking JSON records, you'll see that the parameter at the end of the URL is changed automatically by using this button. You can of course do this manually as well. And now we're not going to get a CSV, we're going to get a JSON. Again, showing the, the first two rows, we can see what our data is going to look like. Now, I've not just put one type of JSON available because I know there's many different use cases out there. We've actually got a whole bunch of ways to view our JSON. For example, JSON split is slightly different. It gives you the columns, the index, and then the data all as separate dictionaries. JSON table is actually going to give you a little preview of the schema and the type of, uh, basically the type of variable that each row is going to have. Uh, and there's just a lot of different ways that you can play around with. Uh, so have a look at the service, have a look at this new functionality, give me feedback, uh, let me know if there's any other data types that, that we should support because basically that can just involve adding a different data type to this list and it's just going to be another parameter to add to the end of the URL. Um, and I, yeah, I want to hear what your use cases are and what to add on. So yeah, have a play around with the new JSON feature, let me know and stay tuned for more updates.